Hello everyone. This mountain behind me is my sneaker collection. A lot of people have been asking for a sneaker collection video. I've been wanting to do one for the past couple of months and I finally got some time recently to bring down all these effing pairs from my upstairs closet down here to show them off on the nice camera. So that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, at least half of the pairs we're gonna go by pretty quick because they're not like the hypest or the craziest or the most expensive or like anything like that. But I still wanted to show off all the pairs. So the first half of the video is gonna be pretty quick and go through so we can get to super cool stuff and the hype stuff and the expensive stuff and, and all that kind of stuff. And my favorites are gonna be labeled as well at the end of the video and yeah. Let's, let's go. All right, so we're gonna start with some of my daily drivers here. These are the shoes that I actively have been wearing for the past few months to over a year. Uh, up here, just like some that I'm not exactly gonna talk about, but you know, we got New Balance 5740, uh, Dunk, Dunk High, a couple of Yeezys, and uh, we got the Yeezy 350 Static here. These are the Triple Blacks, these are the Zebras. I wear these probably the most because they are incredibly easy to put on. You literally just that's it. So they're really, really easy to slip on and take off, which is why I wear them the most. And I just really like the static color, like the white and gray is very nice. Next, we have probably the hypest pair that I wear. This is the Off-White Jordan 5. Uh, I did pay resale for these. It, it stung back then, it probably stings even more now, but I like to wear these whenever like we go into the city or we're seeing friends or something where I, I need to step it up. You need to flex on fools. Right, exactly. Where, you know, sometimes maybe I'm feeling it at Whole Foods and grandma's getting flexed on, she doesn't even know it. So this is definitely my hypest pair. All right, next one is the Jordan 1 that I am currently wearing, the Jordan 1 Zoom Racer Blue. People were very low on these when these first came out. I actually got mine on the sneakers app, wouldn't you know it. But nowadays, I feel like people really, really like them. I certainly do. Great neutral, but it's great for spring, summer. It goes with almost anything. Love the blue up here as well and the ice sole. Love that. Yeah, great, great shoe. Love wearing this one. And finally, we're gonna go to the Jordan 4 PSG collaboration. Love this color. Burgundy, great black right here. Gray on the, on the mud guard. Love this shoe. The only things that I don't like about this shoe is that number one, they're a nine and a half, and I learned the hard way that I'm a 10, not a nine and a half. So that kind of sucks. And then uh, apparently people are not too fond of this football team. I couldn't tell you anything about them, but uh, people people not fond of them, uh, fond of them apparently. All right, so those were my daily drivers. Now we're gonna look at some GRs. Not the most hype, but just kind of going over a couple of my favorites of uh, Jordan. So we're gonna look at Jordan 3, Jordan 4, 5, 6, I got a 7, 14, let's go look at them. Okay, so we're gonna continue with some Jordan GRs. We're gonna start with threes, because my ones are, you know, they're, they're a bit more hype, so we'll save that for a little bit later. Uh, we got Jordan 3 Cool Gray. I'm not a huge Jordan 3 guy, but you know, these, these look not bad. They're probably one of my favorite Jordan 3s that we've had come out recently. We also have the navy blue. A lot of people know them as the Georgetown Jordan 3s. Also not too bad. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a, an okay model, but n not the most hype to me. But, you know, have a couple to round out the collection. Jordan 4 here, we have the fire red 4s up here. We also have the newly released, what they call them, Tech, tech White. I think they're calling them Tech White right now. Very, very hyped colorway here. I know people are all about the whole having Nike Air on the back of the shoe as opposed to on this guy where they have the Jumpman logo instead. But yeah, otherwise, this is one of the sort of colorways of the Jordan 4 and uh, absolutely, absolutely worth being in your collection. Brim, are, am I boring you? Am I boring you, Brim? You're yawning? Brim. Take him down. He <laughs> fell. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Is this a brim video now? Is this a brim video now? You want scratchies? That's our secret cap. They're all brim videos. Okay, no. You done brim? No, look at how cute this is. Oh my god. Brim, I'm gonna, I'm gonna smush you. I'm gonna smush, smush. Okay. <laughs> okay. 
We good? We good to go back to this now? Okay, Jordan 5. Actually, one of my favorite Jordan models. Uh, I wasn't actually originally sold on the 4s, but I've come around since then, but Jordan 5s were definitely my first favorite besides the 1. Here we have the Toro Bravo, otherwise known as the Raging Bull. I'll let you get a little close-up of that. This is the colorway, I would say, of the Jordan 5, at least that I've seen so far, unless you want to spend like 20 grand getting a pair of Tokyos or something like that, which is a yellow shoe. Um, you probably don't. Uh, love this colorway. Love, love, love this colorway. Uh, great fall shoe, in my opinion. And probably, probably one of my favorites. But we're actually coming over to my absolute favorite Jordan 5 right here and probably one of my top 10 favorite shoes that I own. This is the Anthracite. Love how deep the black is on here, but I love all the pops of the silver and the sort of gray, and it's not really white, but I just, I love the way that they executed this colorway. Very limited release on this one, but oh, love how this turned out. We also have some other Jordan 5s up here, we have the Stealths, which are basically if they took the Zoom Racer Blues and, you know, turn them into a 5. Uh, here we have the Grapes. Love me a purple shirt. Sorry, hold on. Sorry. <laughs> Brim. Brim. Please. We're done. Here we have the Grape. Jordan 5, love me an aggressively purple shoe. So purple, not not crazy about this color though. And here we have the Jordan 5 top three. They combined three different colorways. You can see a little bit of purple up here from the grape that they previously released, red and the black, deep, deep black. Love how deep that black is on that shoe. All right, moving down the Jordan list here, we have the Jordan 6 Carmine. Yet another sort of like premier colorway of the Jordan 6. Again, featuring that Nike Air back. These are a little bit out there for me, but they are a classic colorway. If I was gonna wear a Jordan 6, I'd probably come up here and wear the infrared green. Kind of wish I had our infrared, infrared red pair, but that's neither here nor there. Jordan 7 right here this is the only Jordan 7 that I have. It is another PSG collaboration. Uh, I don't know what it is, but they make really good shoes. I'm sorry if you don't like that team, their shoes are awesome. I, I don't know what to tell you. This is the 25th anniversary Jubilee, Jordan 11. A lot of people like the Jordan 11. A lot of people think it's the best Jordan model out there. Um, it's, it's, it's up there for me. It's not my absolute favorite, but I do like it. This is a very simple pair, black and white. You can wear it with anything. Great shoe. And we're gonna come over here to the Flint 13s. I'm not the most familiar with the 13, but people seem to really, really like this colorway. I don't mind it either. This is another great shoe that you can wear with anything. It's blue, it's gray, it's white. Like, what doesn't go with this, you know what I mean? So, but I'm just not the most familiar with the, with the Jordan 13, so I don't have too much else to say on it. Finally, we're gonna come up here to the Jordan 14. Again, another model I'm not the most familiar with. Not the most popular model, but look, it's it's a red, white, and black Jordan, right? Like, you're, you're not gonna pick this one up? Like, come on. And compared to some other 14s that have released recently, this is overwhelmingly my favorite of the 14s. All right, so now we're gonna, we're gonna step up the hype level a little bit. We're moving to the Jordan 1. Everyone knows the Jordan 1. Let's start up here, some simpler colorways. We have the new Shadow uh, 2.0s just came out. I think these are super cheap. If you look, if you like this shoe, I would try and scoop it right now while it's cheap. We got the Court Purple 2.0. As know, I love purple shoe. Great looking shoe. I'm not wild about the Royal Toe. Something about the color blocking. I don't know. I, I it's not it's not the best to me, but I have one. These the metallic silvers, the uh, the Japan re-release. I actually wore these for my wedding. I, I got married in these shoes, so these will never leave. And then this is a metallic gray uh, sort of midnight navy sort of version of this shoe, uh, similar sort of uh, release style. So now let's come down to the to the more hype pairs. Here we have the Jordan 1 Mochas. I'm sure everyone kind of knows about this if you were going after shoes last year. You know, uh, people are crazy about the Travis Scott Jordan 1s. Those are going for crazy money, 15, 16, $1,700, maybe even more than that. People are calling these the poor man Travis Scott 1s. This was actually so easy for me to get. I literally just logged on to, I think it was JD Sports, and I was through in like a minute. I was shocked at how simple it was to get a pair of these. My luck is usually not like that. Here we're coming to the University Blue Jordan 1s, somewhat recently released, a couple of months ago. Um, again, another 
super, super sleek looking shoe. Very, very clean. Lucked out with these because uh, a certain website restocked them and not a lot of people knew about it. And I happened to be at my computer at the time. So I was like, yoink, I'm gonna take one of those. Uh, great, great colorway, great looking shoe. These, <laughs> you might be like, what the hell is going on here? These are the Jordan 1 J Balvin. Now, I don't know anything about J Balvin, but when I saw these, I was like, I'm gonna speculate. I picked these up for resale locally. They haven't really done much in terms of resale, but I'm just kind of holding on to them for the for the long term. I thought they were gonna kind of pop off, especially with him having, you know, the, the fan base that he has, but I guess people thought these were a little too wild. Maybe if the sole was white instead of pink, that'd be a bit of more of a seller as I completely ignore the literal rainbow on the shoe. Um, I thought these were neat, but, you know, uh, I, I guess people thought they were a little too crazy. So let's go to the complete opposite of this with the Jordan 1 Neutral Gray High 89, or 85. It's a, it's a white and gray shoe. That's it. But uh, people were going nuts over these. I lucked out with a raffle with these guys when I thought I took an L on sneakers like most people do. Um, it's not the most exciting shoe, but it's just super clean. Super, super clean shoe. Really like this shoe. All right, so now we're getting to some Nike, uh, New Balance, Adidas. I don't have many pairs of these, but these are just like not Yeezy, not Jordans, just kind of like, you know, shoes. So these are the Air Max Bacon. I absolutely Love the color blocking on this shoe. These I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure are still around their retail price, and I think that's insane because I, I thought these had a lot more hype to them. Either way, I love this shoe. Okay, these are the New Balance Ame Leon Dor New Balance 1300 collaboration. I actually won a raffle for these in August of 2020, and I didn't get them until April. 2021. I don't know it took so long, but I I finally got them. I don't I'm not even really sure I want them anymore, but it's it's a fuzzy. It's a fuzz. Next up, we have the Pharrell Williams NMD collaboration in the triple black colorway. Um, I feel like I was almost sort of obligated to pick up a pair of these and triple black, you can never go wrong. Um, it's not a bad looking shoe. I, I like the way that they do the lacing. It's just literally they just wrap it around the shoe. Um, super easy to put on. Yeah, I, simple shoe. Up here we have some some other things as well. Let's uh, let's start over here. This is a Kith New Balance. This is the 990 V3, I believe. Uh, Kith collaboration. They do a lot of collaborations with uh, with New Balance. And uh, very very simple shoe to wear. I know again New Balance dad shoe. I feel like they've done an okay job at trying to break away from that sort of vibe uh, over the past couple of years. Here we have a Dunk, recently released Cheetah Dunk, I believe. This is what that one was. Uh, nice colors, really, really like this shoe. Here we have the Stussy Air Force One Fossil. I uh, picked these up from their website. I didn't think there was a chance in hell that I was gonna be able to get them, but it was actually a pretty smooth process, so. This one also sort of a fuzzy. Nice little uh, summer AF1. We have some Air Maxes in the Volt colorway. Uh, I'm, I'm not particularly drawn to this model of Air Max, but this was uh, sort of like an OG colorway of this particular model. So it was like, all right, let's scoop one up. You know, why the heck not? And uh, it's not bad. You know, I might rock it in the future, but it hasn't been one that I've been dying to get to. All right, it's Danielle's favorite segment, Yeezys. <laughs> Danielle hates Yeezys. She hates basically all of them. <laughs> I don't hate all of them, but some of them, I have questions. This one, I do not have any questions. This is the Core Bread 350. Uh, I wish the triple black was this color of black. I don't know why the triple black is not this dark. I wish it was this dark. Other than that, love this shoe. Very, very comfortable, very easy to wear. Has the, the pull tab at the back too. 
Uh, we have another pair of 350s right here. These are the Carbons. Um, really like this color as well. Just haven't had a chance to break them out just yet. Otherwise, I have three other 350s that I showed earlier in the video. Don't really need too many more of these unless they're really popping. Let's move to the 700 model. If you've seen the Wave Runners before, th these are kind of just like a spin-off color of it. I think these are called the Inflame. I didn't have a pair of the 700 V1s. We scored on these, but if I can get a pair of the Wave Runner, which is like the original version of, or the original colorway of this shoe model, uh, I would be very happy to pick up a pair of those. Here we have the 700 V2 in the cream. I actually really, really like this. I think this is very, very well executed, especially with this colorway, but it is the only V2 that I have, but I really, really like them. Now we have the V3. These are the Arzareth. There's also the Kyanite that just launched uh, a couple months ago that are very, very similar to this. Do I have my... They glow in the dark. Mm. It's bright right now, so you can't really see it that well, but they, they glow. Mm. This is the easy 450. I'm not sure what it is. It's like a sock, but it's also like a shoe. Now, stock was kind of limited on these, as far as I remember, along with this. This is just the white version over here. So I kind of just got them as a collector because it didn't seem like there was a ton out there, but I'm, I'm in no hurry to put these on. They're a little out there for me. Much like these. These are the Foam foam Runner Moon Gray. It's a bit much for me as well. These are reselling for like almost four times what they cost retail. I couldn't tell you why, but I'm just, I'm just gonna put them back here. Otherwise, we, <laughs> we have a, an orange slide. People are paying a lot of money for these as well. I couldn't tell you why. Here we have the Yeezy 500 Utility Black. Interesting shape. I'm, I'm not crazy about it, but if they come out with something else, I, I, I could maybe see myself wearing it, but I'm not in a hurry. And then we have the 380. Definitely one of the least hype models of, of Yeezys, but I think this is one of the better colorways that they've done. Um, some of the colorways of this shoe are disgusting, terrible, awful, not sure what's going on there, but these are not too bad. Okay, so now we're now we're getting some heat, some hype, expensive pairs. Um, this first half is sort of pairs that I was able to get for retail price that are super hype. And those are some more like investment pairs. We'll get to that in a second. So this is the Union 4, Jordan 4 Union Jordan collaboration in the Guava. Uh, there was actually two colorways of this. There was just pure black and then there was the Guava. Um, I really like the Guava as a summer shoe. I, I wasn't really sold on this. Like when I first saw this, I was like, what is going on here? This is actually the tongue folded over because I guess people at Union like to fold over their Jordan 4 tongue. And so when I first saw that, I was like, oh no. But then there's like a little way to like unsew it and get the tongue back up. I'm like, okay. The the newer ones that they just did, I, I like the, the, the desert moss and the, and the brown one. I'm not, I'm not as on board with those. This is the Travis Scott Khaki Jordan 6 collaboration. I actually won a raffle for these on Undefeated uh, live during a stream. I, it was actually a reaction. Yep, that's a little pouch. <laughs> that's a little pouch for, you know, M&Ms. <laughs> Wait, what is it? What's in here? Oh, so it's a lace lock. I didn't even know that. Um, yeah, there's, there's an actually there's actually a clip of me winning these on stream. I put it in the stream highlights recently. Undefeated raffle win for the Travis Scott Six. Um, really love the color of these. I, I wish I had more like brown beige stuff to wear with these shoes because man, they I I think they look great. Moving to the Supreme Dunk Lows. I was able to score a pair for myself, very, very stoked about that. I'm, I'm glad that there's not a ton of Supreme branding on it. You know, you have this right here, but I mean, I guess you could take it off. Otherwise we have some stars on the side. It's nothing too crazy. The only real branding is like inside the shoe, which you'll never see because it'll be on your feet. Super clean pair, really like them. Black is not like the best selling one, but it's the one that I'd actually wear the most. So 
Very, very happy to score these. Ah, these. The Satan Shoes, the Lil Nas X collaboration. I got these for retail price. The, the retail price was like $1,000. It was $1,018 because of, because of that. And I originally was not planning on getting these because I thought you, you needed like a certain app in order to get them. And I didn't have the app and it wasn't on Android. I was like, eh, F that, I'm not messing with all that. And then as the shoes released, I get, like I see a link posted in Discord that takes you right to the site. And I was like, okay, let's, let's go to the site. Let's try and check out. It's probably gonna be impossible. Oh, it loaded. I'm getting through, I'm getting through, I'm getting through. And that worried me because usually super hype stuff, you don't get through. Like, it just doesn't happen. So I got to the pay now page and I was like, I'm gonna give this a minute. I'm gonna leave this up to the sneaker gods. And I waited a minute and I refreshed the page and it was still available. We got them. I think they're a neat little novelty shoe that we'll hang on to for a little bit. But yeah, people are, people are not stoked about this shoe. Um, very, uh, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Now we're moving to some investment pairs. These are pairs that I bought because I thought that they could potentially go up in price. Um, these are both, uh, this is the Storm Blue and the Black Toe Union Jordan 1 collaboration. I picked these up, I like this one way more by the way. I picked these up because of the Union 4 uh, release, the Union Jordan 4, thinking that, you know, if people didn't like those, they might wanna go back and scoop these up price action on these hasn't really moved a whole ton. So they're just kind of like a collector's item for me. Um, I like having them. They're a great looking shoe, especially this one. I love this one. Um, I'm not as crazy about the blue, but I mean, solid, solid shoes either way. And these are gonna be like a, a very long hold if uh, I wanna see like any sort of an increase in value to them. Or maybe they just don't even go up at all and we hold on to them just purely as a collector. Cause I like collecting, you know, nice, nice shoes. Same kind of deal with these. The Strange Loves uh, just took off into the stratosphere. I actually have the collector box of these. It's a, it's a soft. It's a nice. Um, these started going going into the stratosphere the moment they released, and so I picked up a pair as they were just going in the moon. Um, they're also just a fantastic, fantastic shoe. Fantastic dunk. Awesome collaboration. I I love this thing. This thing is wicked. Um, same kind of deal with the Off-White Jordan 4 Sale women's shoe. Unfortunately, this is a nine and a half. I don't wear nine and a half very well, so this will not be going on my feet because I'm afraid of it just not being comfortable. But these were another pair that were just super low radar and then just started taking off in terms of price. People were all over them. It's a clean shoe. It's, it's maybe not the most exciting, but I do really, really like it nonetheless, especially now since I've been coming around more on the uh, on the Jordan 4. And I do like me an off-white collab, as noted by my off-white fives. This is the New Beginnings Double Pack. This was also another pair that started kind of taking off. Collector item, investment item. We have the New Beginnings. I got these on StockX. Uh, New Beginnings, Jordan 1, very clean shoe. And then on the other side, we have what was before this shoe, which is this guy right here. So these came out during All-Star Weekend 2020, I believe. And yeah, these just started taking off, scooped up a pair for myself, or two pairs, I guess. And uh, yeah, just another collector item, investment item to kind of hang on to for fun. If it doesn't go anywhere, no big deal. All right, so now I'm gonna put all this stuff away and we're gonna go to my favorite shoes, my top favorite shoe, and uh, something else that's a little intriguing. Okay, we're getting towards the end here. We're coming up on my favorite shoes, some of my favorite shoes. This is the Fear of God Nike Air ones. And, uh, I'm, I'm still not sure how to wear them because they're, I mean, we'll, we'll get into it. But I think just artistically, I appreciate the shoes more than I appreciate them as like something that I would wear. Just because like they look, 
I mean, look at this packaging. DJ crinkles up in here. This is the shoe. The first time I saw a pair of these, I was like, wow, I really want one of those. But all I've ever heard is just stories of like the zipper getting broken over here and just like how weird of a shoe it is to actually put on and wear. But just like, I really, really like it artistically. It's one of the first shoes that I latched onto when I first started getting into this hobby and just like something about it. I got lucky with these as well, won another raffle. And uh, I was like, man, I really want a pair of these, but I don't know if I'll ever wear them or if I'll ever be able to pull them off. But I just think they're so cool. Definitely one of my favorite pairs. Yet another raffle win. You know, the thing with raffles is like, the odds are you're just never gonna win them. But then I look at a pair like this and I think to myself, just enter the damn raffle anyway. You've, you won these, you won those, you won the Travis Scott, you won the, the weird 450 Yeezy strange ones. One of my favorite pairs, the Chunky Dunk. Won these in a raffle from CCS. These were uh, limited to 100 pairs from that particular store, not 100 pairs in the world. Um, and only the first thousand raffle entries were even eligible and I got an email and I thought it was fake because they actually said like uh, there's some fake emails going out be sure to verify this is a uh, Ben and Jerry's and Nike dunk collaboration I don't know if I'll ever get to wearing these they're so wild but man I just <laughs> I saw these and I was like I gotta get a pair I would have bought these for resale if I did not win the raffle. They're just, they're so wild. They're so cool. They're so well done. I just, I love these. Love these. We have this very interesting shoe from Sakai. This is the Sakai Vapor Waffle. Look at the, insanity going on here double laced with this sort of like weird thing going on in the back waffle print bottom like it is just wild you have the double swoosh you have the one stitched on and then sort of like painted on here it is just such a wild shoe and there's also some other colorways of it that have come out but i haven't really liked those as much as just the black and white ones and uh, these I also bought for resale. I was like, I need to have these. And they're, they're just so, so strange. But to me, they're just so compelling and needed to have them. I cannot reiterate enough that these are an investment pair. I got these for the long haul. And they're they're pretty expensive. And I'm not huge on like showing off expensive stuff when it comes to like stuff that I have and own. But this is one thing that I, I went a little out of control on. This is the Air Dior Jordan 1. There are, I believe, I wanna say, 85, yeah, 8,500 pairs that were made of this particular shoe. So th there were a lot, but there were also something like 5 million raffle entries to get this pair. Retail cost of this pair was $2,000. Resell at the time of launch was around $10,000 for these things. And this is, this is one I plan on holding for the long haul. Five to 10 years minimum kind of a hold and you know what if they don't go anywhere so be it not the biggest deal but uh you know i've i've hoarded a, a lot of my youtube earnings and uh every once in a while i want to go a little bit crazy if you want to take a look inside the box here we also have like the sole and like some nice bags and stuff on a chain which brings us to my favorite pair that i own 
and by extension, my favorite series. This is the Nike SB Purple Lobster Concepts Collaboration. I managed to scoop these up right before Dunk Hype started going absolutely nuts in, uh, in the beginning of 2020. Um, I love purple. The way that this shoe is executed is just so phenomenal to me. It's so simple, but I just love the colors. I love the swoosh, the sort of metallic look of the swoosh. It is just such a gorgeous, gorgeous shoe. So I can see the metallic, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shine it off the light. Yeah, that's neat, okay. Just, I, I love this shoe. I'm actively looking to scoop up another pair of these to actually wear because one of the, like this one is in the collector's edition box. I wanna keep it nice, nice. Um, but I, man, I would love to wear a pair. You also have um, in here, you got the blue laces as well. You got some pink laces in here too. Just, I, I love this shoe. I love it. I absolutely love it. In fact, I'm trying to get the full collection of them. This one was released in 2018. The red and the blue ones, I have not had as much luck in finding my size, but those came out in 2008, I believe. These are actually a size eight in the collector's box. And I got these at the time because I was just like, screw it, let's get all of them. I don't care what size. But as I started to get involved in the hobby a bit more and more and more, um, part of the fun of collecting shoes is collecting them in your size and hypothetically being able to put them on. I, I can't put these on. So I, I will be looking to get rid of these within the next couple of years. And I am actively looking for a size 10 dead stock, brand new. Uh, so if, if, uh, anyone's, uh, if anyone's got the red or blue ones, feel free to hit me up. This is the collector's box. It also has a bunch of collector's items in here. I'll spare you, ah, no, screw it. We'll take a look at them real quick. These are just some of the collector items. This is a, uh, these are oyster crackers from 2008. I'm not gonna open those. But uh, yeah, the buttery laces and just all the little, you know, cause, oh, I should clarify. Uh, they're called the, the lobsters because uh, Concepts is based in Boston. You know what they got in Boston? Lobster. I also happen to have the green one right here. Fun fact, accidentally bought size 11 of these. Had to sell them back. Get the size 10. Green, not exactly, again, my color but just the way this was executed is just, I, I love it. Absolutely, absolutely love it. And I'm trying to get them all. That's all of them. That's my sneaker collection. Um, I would love to do uh, a Q and A. So I'm gonna have a comment posted down below with, where you should drop your, drop your questions. If you got any questions for me related to sneakers, any questions at all, Drop them in that comment thread and sometime soon, I will go through and I will answer a bunch of those questions because I'm sure some people want to ask me some stuff. Maybe you don't and you just want to see the shoes. Either way, if you got questions for me about anything sneaker wise, drop it in there. Thanks for watching. This has been my collection of sneakers. I'll see you next time.